Hello again, and today I am going to be slightly addressing some events that have been happening on my channel as well as a larger topic, but I would like to just get the channel stuff out of the way. For those new to the channel, please like, subscribe, and comment. I know I haven't been saying it as much because I'm not that kind of a shill, but it really does help the channel metrics even if, um, let's say, certain of you are getting shadow banned by YouTube as well as to all the returning people, please like, please comment, please subscribe, please leave some feedback. It really does help the channel. Despite the um, the comment that I received from a more great white yeti who tried to call me a free speech warrior for being for free speech, yet in his words, you're hiding comments. That you're such a hypocrite. Sorry, dude, but um, YouTube hid those comments, and in the in the sources, I will be hosting some Imgur files. What of you might ask? Very simple. The comments that were censored from certain videos, so that everybody knows where the comments are. And also, a comment now is categorized as anything in the comment section, so this includes replies. And so YouTube has been kind of fucking around when it comes to the, you know, the comments section, much like any other website out there. The uh, This was pretty much on full display this decade when certain, if not most, of the mainstream media websites flat out started getting rid of the comments section. They are now just hubs for articles rather than hubs of discussion around said articles. And this is really bad in my opinion. This is kind of the whole reason as to why the media is failing, is the lack of discussion that they promote, the enforcement of their narratives that they also promote. And I think they were incredibly ass mad about the comments section because it was primarily anonymous commenters. No one had the desire to use their real name in these comment sections, and therefore you couldn't be a, a gay little journalist conducting 24-hour ops on people that you disagree with by taking their comments and blasting them on Twitter and trying to get them canceled. Like that one woman who did that one tweet where she's like, I'm going to Africa. Hope I don't get AIDS. Just kidding, I'm white. I forget her name, but that was, that is like one of the most famous stories of someone getting canceled over their, uh, over their public comments, quote-unquote. And so... What also propagated anonymity and its death, in my opinion, is the fact that social media has destroyed the ability to have online anonymity. Specifically on Facebook, they demand that you use your real name, that you use your real face, that you use your, uh, your real email and phone number to tie into your account. On Twitter, they're slightly more relaxed on this. But they still require you to use your real phone number so that if you try to register a new account with your phone number, they can preemptively block you from using Twitter if you are, quote unquote, evading a suspension, which Twitter's bullshit. But again, another commentary for another day. Moving on, YouTube is one of the last bastions of having more of an anonymous presence on a social media platform. And with all of that being said, the best place, in my opinion, to get a anonymous comment section for your website is Spot.im, the website that used to exist with writers like Ian Miles Chong and uh, Louise Mitch. <laughs> oh my God, we have grown in years. Is uh, is Heat Street? That was the first time I ever saw Spot.im, and I really love that function. Bounding into comics, I believe, uses Spot.im as well, and I love dropping a comment. Not as this current account, you know, the evangelist or the producer for the evangelist content, because I just get to say what I need to and move on with my life. I don't need to think about it more. I don't need to, you know, continue into the story. I, I don't get all these notifications coming back to me because I decided to engage the comment section. You know, so much of the problem of social media is that pesky notification. And to the to the business end of it, 
they view the the notification as a way to get you to keep visiting the website and driving the Alexa rank up and driving user engagement. However, it's it's at the end of the day, it's not important. You know, a notification isn't going to fucking kill you, and more people need to realize this. But the real reason, or as I've stated previously, reasons as to why we have destroyed an online. As I've stated previously, the reason why online anonymity was destroyed is primarily because of the media. They removed the comment section because even when it was Facebook comments, people weren't afraid of, you know, the public backlash of dissenting opinions. You know, if you could go to like any Vice post and you'll just see people going like, bruh, you're posting cringe in like so many different variations. (laughs) And this is why they got rid of the comment section. And this is why, you know, the forum is no longer as popular as it used to be. You know, it used to be going to, you know, your favorite kind of hobbies and going into their forums and basically engaging in, like, giant flame wars over who did what correctly, what movie is good, or, you know, just basically all kinds of different topics. And now they are, the forum has just been completely supplanted by the social media. And the social media as we all are aware of currently in the modern time, isn't really good for our health, isn't really good for the propagation of discussion and commentary. And it instead causes us to be incredibly tribalistic and separate off into the ether, into our, you know, increasingly hardline positions and opinions. And what do we do, essentially, to combat this? What, what is the solution to fixing these issues? In my view, what I think would really help is the ability to have more online anonymity is, you know, making Twitter accounts by not using your real phone number, I think is something helpful if you want to go back there. I myself, uh, not going to publicly comment on that, but for me, I, I just... I really miss the era of online anonymity. I miss the the open internet of the Wild Wild West style internet where you could literally find everything. Because even then, you were limited by your interests. You weren't really actually consuming everything at once. You were just trying to get all the best information on the things you were looking for. And now we have this more censored, curated internet that, at the end of the day, isn't really helpful for anybody to be engaging in and participating in because it just propagates these mainstream narratives you know it does not really promote true discussion and this is why i am very angry at the fact that youtube basically doesn't allow me to uncensor these comments that were blocked out of the section and then i get called a fucking freeze peach warrior because of it like yeah thanks youtube for you know, taking my agency away from me because you think that, oh, this, this is bad. We can't allow these kinds of comments on our website. Please stop. You're never going to stop free speech, okay? You're never going to stop the free and open flow of information. Why? Because the internet was built on the openness of information sharing. And by taking that away and by trying to control the the grand history of the internet and claiming that, oh, we are the real internet now through your Google search engine, your social media, you're just creating a, a microcosm of what is truly out there in the internet into this, you know, kind of ugly, homogeneous landscape of just drivel. And it's ugly. It's disgusting, and I really don't want any part of it if this is how you're going to act. If you go to my bit shoot, however, if you go to my Gab and my Minds account, I frequently interact with people that I highly disagree with, and I let them hash it out in the comments section. It's truly the Wild West on that side of the internet. So I would suggest, as a big solution, is to create alternative media platforms, you know, join the comments section on BitChute. Open a Gab account. Open a Minds account. Suggest other social media platforms. Follow me on my Telegram. That is completely a free speech zone. I have 
not been blocked or banned once from that platform at all. I haven't been blocked or banned from Mines. I haven't been blocked or banned from Gab. BitChute I have no problem with other than the fact that they use Discus over Spot.im. I think Discus is the social media version of a comment section and it really isn't good in the long run to have a you know a quote-unquote anonymous account that you can follow the logs through and find you know oh this person posted this and that and the other thing and discus also is supports um social media connection so then it connects to your actual real life person and i don't think anyone really wants that so in conclusion we have to do better as denizens of the internet to make sure that free speech is a really big issue because if that guy was just joking more great white yeti if you're just joking about me being a quote-unquote free speech warrior then what i have to ask you is do you actually believe in free speech or are you just trying to get a gotcha on me because if you're just doing that then like okay whatever but if you don't believe in free speech yourself then you're cringe bro and it's bad optics and so I say to the social media companies, to the, the media itself, if you try to take away our ability to speak, well, you better tread lightly because we're only just going to get louder.